Hey now, what's happening? Kiss my ass. That's right. I'm sorry, I'm in the middle of an argument with someone. Uh, good morning, it's a great show today. Uh, Evil David Letterman is here. Good morning, Howard. Good morning, Dave. This is where you can let your hair hang. Yeah. You can, you can really get loose. Exactly. Uh, you don't have to be the David Letterman we see on TV who has to be politically correct. You say whatever you want this morning. Well, you know, haven't you heard? I, I taught America how to laugh again. Yeah. Uma, Usama, Usama, Uma. Right. <laughs> you're, you're, they say that you after September 11th, you taught the world how to laugh again, evil yeah. Dave Letterman. You know, I just want to—I just want to open up here and say something, Howard. You know, I, I'm sick and tired of this Leno character sucking up to everyone in Hollywood. You know, don't you think that talk show host is, you know, showed some would show some bravery and, and just give uh, his real opinion to, and stop worrying about uh, who was offended? I mean, you know, I thought I, I thought saving Silverman's, uh, you know, Poontang and Corky Romano were brilliant moves, or brilliant movies rather. Dave, listen to me. Yeah. <laughs> I want you to, to drink your coffee. Yeah. Yeah. And relax. All right. All right. He's he's shot out of a cannon, ladies and gentlemen. I don't even know what he's talking about. <laughs> Evil Dave Letterman. It's impossible to know what he's talking about. Well, you know, what I, what I'm, you know, I'm not afraid to say it. Between you and me, you know, Freddie got fingered. Uh, it was a uh, you know cinematic uh, masterpiece, and and I'm not saying that just because I want Tom Green to, to come on my show and, and spill his uh, you know lucky guts about the, the Drew Barrymore thing. You know, I, I tell you what else, but what I carry was good in glitter. You got to be kidding me! Uh, yeah. He's out, he's off the wall today. You are out of out of control, yeah. evil Dave Letterman. Well, well, I get some coffee in me. I'm, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much. He's something else. I didn't hear a word he said. What did he say? I'll tell you what. He needs bifocals. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Listen. Uh, he's the greatest. Evil Dave Letterman is here. Robin. Um, I'm always glad to see him, but, you know, I'm afraid every time he opens his mouth. <laughs> you never know what he's going to say. He's so he's so opposite of what he is on his show. Oh, nobody knows the real Dave. Right. You know, I'm such a homebody. I never get to do anything fun. I, I just want to go to a nightclub and, and see, uh, you know, Lizzie uh, uh, Grubman uh, run people over with her car. <laughs> I hate to admit it, but, you know, I, I think it would be fun. But if I don't get out to, to these parties, you know, I'll never get to, uh, you know, see cool stuff. Yeah. I want to date Mandy from Temptation Island. That's what I want to do. You're saying you don't have fun because you don't go out at night? Yeah, yeah. And you want to date Mandy from Temptation Island? Right, and see if, you know, if she really has a red bush. Oh, and no. I want to live it up. I, I want to, you know, <laughs> tattoo, uh, you know, thug life on, on my belly like, uh, you know, Toompec. I, I want to, you know, I want my own web page. I want to have Mickey Rourke uh, hit me over the head with a lead pipe like he did in that, you know, uh, you know, Enrique uh, Iglesias. I, I want to go crazy. You know, what? <laughs> oh, yeah. hey. coming out to see you. you know, Dave Letterman you wants to go get the party started. You want to get the party started, exactly. Right, like the Pink song, exactly. All right. Well, listen, maybe you will live it up. Maybe this is your first step to living it up. I hope so. Yeah, you're out of the house. Oh, it's you know, it's because I am just. I'm, can I tell you something, Howard? I, I'm just I'm sick of my dull existence. I, I want to go crazy. I want to be wild like Tom Green and you know Drew Barrymore. I, I want to get mental like Mariah Carey and, and you know then spend three days resting. I want to you know <laughs> smoke pot and uh, you know, I want to drive a convertible with the top down and, and watch bugs uh, you know crash into my bald sweaty head. And I want to go I want to go nuts like Vince McMahon. That's what I want to do and, and throw away you know thirty million dollars on the you know. XFI. I, I, I want to yell at my girlfriend. I want to. I want to say something negative about Rui Giuliani. You know, I want to wear yellow shoes and a swan dress like like Bjork. You know, I'm, I'm trying to be looser. You know. Yeah. Well, Dave, I understand that you want to be looser. You want to go crazy like Rui Giuliani. Yeah. Rui. And, uh, and, uh, and and buy and the XFI. <laughs> yeah. I understand what you want to do. You certainly are wild with those words. Yeah, you're wild. You're out of control. Don't get me started. Right. All right, listen. It's great to have you here. Let me take a um, let me take a little break coming up here. Uh, we have a lot going on. Suge Knight will stop by. He is the guy. Oh, I can't wait for Evil Dave and Suge Knight to be together. Do you know? I hope you know some <laughs> how to talk to a black guy. Yeah, just be careful the way I talk to him. Yeah. All right. Dave Letterman joins us this morning. 
You ever eat a bad orange, Dave? Dave oh, Letterman? It's, it's unbelievable. Yeah, I've had them. They, they don't make you feel good. You know, i got to ask Robin something. You know, that, that shooting uh, at that uh, that colored school in New York. Oh, dear. Yeah. No, Martin I Luther. I love shooting in Poontang. Is that the deal? What did you say? Is that the deal with that? What? You know, blacks love shooting in Poontang. <laughs> Was that a black school? Yeah. Well, it's the Martin Luther King. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's really true what Chris Rock said. Well, Dave, to answer your question, which I'm not even sure was a question. Do you like, the blacks like poontang yeah. and shooting. I got to know that. Dave Letterman, you're a lot different here than you are on uh, that TV show of yours. So, so that's uh, the Upper West Side. That's that's Harlem with fancier cars. Is that the deal? <laughs> yeah. A lot, of, a lot of eighth graders. You're about, what, 35 years old? 35, 30. Yeah. A lot of repeaters. Yeah. This, yeah <laughs> this, this, this high school senior was 35 years old. <laughs> Their next milestone is retirement. There you go. Howard, can I say something? Yeah, Dave. You know, that's, Dave Letterman. That's, that's just it's what I agree with everything you said. And, you know, that's that's one of the most uh, horrible things about the uh, September 11th attacks. Uh, you know, that the cleanup effort is is taking away all the good uh, illegal aliens. You know, my maid and cook gone. Now, I, I, think, <laughs> right. I think they're working at ground zero now, Howard. And, and you know, try finding good white help. It's impossible. All right. Well, Dave, you obviously have your problems. You're you're very vocal. Yeah. You're very outspoken on this show. Maybe just saying that you'll find some good help. Yeah. Yeah. Man, let's hope you. F you know, Bobo's available. He can mop up in his <laughs> toupee. There you go. He can get his toupee to clean up. Now he's a real gangster, Dave Letterman, and you better behave yourself. Well, you know, I, I'm not. I'm not worried about that uh, because you know, that's probably like having somebody uh, putting Gary uh, Condit in the chair and asking about Chandra Levy. Man, oh man, Where, I don't. I don't even what, understand this. What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> and just, you know, I have somebody ought to put Gary Condit in the chair and just ask about Sean. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see, Chandra. Is that her name, Chandra? Yeah. Who wrote that for you? I don't know. <laughs> if he was on my show, I'd fire him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I thought we had approved what you would say to that. Oh, dear. I thought so, too. That somehow you, you don't remember that. You somehow surprised me. USDA you. choice, Howard, I'll tell you. Somehow you, you are conspiring with someone back there to yeah. <laughs> hijack my show. <laughs> Somebody's working for Crack Magazine or something. I don't right, know. Crack Magazine. Well, uh, Dave, Yeah. it's great having you here. Dave, you don't get a corporate jet, no, do you? I, I get a discount airlines. You know, the, the oxygen mask comes down. Bam, it's $100. <laughs> that's it. Right. So, uh, evil Dave Letterman. He can't get the corporate jet. That's right. He can't get the corporate jet. No. I, I can't even go out to, to watch the Oscars out in Los Angeles. And by the way, Howard, I just want to say, you know, I saw that Sam I Am, and honestly, you know, I thought Michelle Pfeiffer was, was incredible as the retarded lawyer. She should get an Oscar nod, I think. <laughs> Yeah, well, she wasn't. Well, never mind. She wasn't retarded uh, in I Am was Sam. It? No. Oh, well, then I, I saw Sam I Am, and I must say, then it was Sean Penn. He was great. You know, his performance as a retard uh, was about as good as Dustin Hoffman's in Rain Man and uh, Adam Sandler and uh, Billy Madison. And, you know, that Adam Sandler, I want to tell you something. He's such a good retard, uh, Big Daddy. And, uh, you know, every other movie he's ever been in uh, proves he's a retard, I think. Wow, Dave Letterman. Uh... <laughs> He's a sta he astounds. I am yeah. astounded. Yeah. You're so different on this show than you are on uh, Late Night. Oh, sure. Late Night with Dave Letterman. Right. You're very, very different. Yeah. Howard. Yeah, Dave. Yeah, can I, I'd like to ask the phone sex girl. Yeah, Dave Letterman, yeah. <laughs> How are you today? Fine. I just want to ask you something. Do you, do you think it's bad for a, for a blonde uh, preteen girl with D-cups to be drunk or stoned in your basement? You know, for over forty-eight hours. What what are the laws on that? <laughs> well, it's probably a view to yeah. hope you Dave, don't have to, but, Okay, you know. I'm sorry, Dave. I know you got to play it straight on your TV show, but it sounds to me like that question's very kinky. Well, I was going to say you're not asking She's for yourself. No, 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 no. no. Dave, can that happen? Oh, kids. <laughs> I want to ask that phone sex girl another question. Yeah. Has she, have you ever kissed a boy while making cookies? <laughs> What does I that did, mean? Yeah. Uh, you have? No? Yeah. Me either. I was just asking because, uh, you know, some friends of mine from Indiana wanted to know. Oh. Yeah. Well, I've, like, been cooking and I kissed my boyfriend. But there it you wasn't go. wasn't cookies. Yeah. <laughs> Do you cook and kiss your kiss boys, Dave? <laughs> no. Well, yeah. <sighs> I don't, I don't mind him. He's very things. he's very different than on his show. I don't have time for those things, Howard. All right. Yes, Dave Letterman. No, I just was going to say, I, I think she had nothing on but her radio, really. <laughs> yeah, I... What? <laughs> Sounds like she had nothing on but her radio. Yeah. 
Are you ad-libbing again? I have no I can idea. smell an ad-lib a mile away. <laughs> uh, Dave needs writers. He does. I keep uh, telling him that. I can go and ad-lib, Dave. <laughs> Dave, I know you have a lot on your mind. What do you want to say? Well, I just, I just got to say that I, you know, I, I was, I really feel for the city. I mean, you know, I'm a New Yorker. Uh, every day for the past 15 years, I, you know, like everyone else, I'm, I'm in the city. You know, I take a limo uh, into the city from my Connecticut mansion. You know, I'm uh, ushered straight uh, to a carpet leading to the door of my office building you know, I, by a security team. You know, I'm out there. I'm feeling the effects of September 11th like everyone else. And, you know, just the other day, I, I had to, you know, strip search a, a Times Square hooker. And usually, you know, she would just get in the limo, but I would, you know, you know and then I'd teabag her. But, you know, you have to be more careful nowadays. <laughs> All right. Dave Letterman is joining us this morning, Evil Dave. You're different than you are on your show. You let your hair down here. Yeah. I think he's letting his hair down into his eyes. Yeah. All right. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back right after these words. Yes, Dave. I was going to ask you, can I uh, can I come to Vegas with you? Yes. I, I heard the whores are legal over there. Yes, they are. Do they charge for Dutch ovens, or do you just kind of let uh, just slide that in there? Is that how it works? Do they charge for what? Dutch ovens. Oh, Dutch ovens. Yeah. I don't think I think if you fart under the covers, uh, you could just do that. I don't think you get charged for that. Or do you just kind of let just slide that in there? Is that how it works? Uh, no. Yeah. How kinky is he? <laughs> Dave, you never talk about this stuff on your late night program. I, I just, I don't know, but you know, since uh, the September 11th business, I, I've just been so horny. I, I think that all that uh, paranoid energy is going to my penis. <laughs> wow. They do say people want a lot more sex. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that's what happened since September 11th? You've gotten more aroused? I don't know. Either that or my hair. I'm losing yeah. my hair. One of the two. All right, see. But, you know, speaking of getting aroused, did you see that uh, Britney Spear uh, in the post uh, the other day? Yes, I did. Damn, that, that bitch's ass makes uh, J-Lo look like, J -Lo look like uh, Karen Carpenter. <laughs> Baby got back. <laughs> yeah, don't get me wrong. You know, I'd still break her off a little something something. <laughs> sure, why not? But, you know, with my bum ticker, I just have to settle for a blumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do, you, hey, do you know how to talk to a uh, black guy like Suge Knight? Dave? I can try. You know, we'll we'll try talking to him. I'll you know try, any I'll uh, try rapping with him? Ebonics. Do you know any Ebonics? Well, I could say something like, uh, you know, hey, uh, DL, up in the heezy for some sheezy. <laughs> I'm off to the meat track to, you know, for show. You feel me, dog? <laughs> I'm wow. bone up in this piece. Let's blaze this, Howard. <sighs> we'll try it. All right, Dave. You sound like you, you sound can. Sound like you're ready. Yeah. You sound like you're ready to rap. We ought to ask him about Michael Jordan, Howard. I don't think anybody's sued him. <laughs> what about Michael Jordan? Well, you know, his wife is divorcing him, and he says uh, he's only worth $70 million. You know, that's one smart black brother. Hide that money, brother. More power to him. You know, that's why I'm not married. I know, it scares you, doesn't it? Yeah. By the way, Evil Dave is so nervous that he's, he's quiet. quiet. How are you today, uh, Dave Letterman? I don't I, know if you're. Can you ever... I just say something, Mr. Knight? That I'm, you know, I, I'm, I'm uh, very pleased to meet you, and that I'm the head of the uh, Ball State University chapter of the Bloods. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Oh, Look at Dave Letterman. Look May at I that. call you, Mr. Niggins. Niggas? Yeah. Hey, well, you know... I'm no, a, I, what about these white guys who say the word niggas? Well, you know, I'm going to break it down to you like this. Please. I, I don't have respect for African Americans. No. For one, I'm not, a, I'm not from Africa. I'm glad I'm not from Africa. Right. Africans don't like us. Right. And Absolutely. even Africans don't call themselves Africans. If they're from Kenya, they call themselves Kenya. Right. There's such a so, thing as African. You know, my whole thing is, I ain't with all the other things. You know, either I'm black or, you know, if I'm going to call myself a nigga, I'm going to call myself a nigga. Right. And if certain people say nigga, we might just have to have a little conference level. Uh-oh. That's right. That's right. Yeah. You can't, you you're a white guy. You can't say, <laughs> are you saying nigger or niggas? Niggas. Niggas. Yeah. You better not say anything. All right. Dave, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm under contract. That's right, Dave. Do you have anything nice you want to say to Mr. Knight? No, I just, I don't know. I'm just wearing my, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm very saddened by He's the shaking. death of Tattoo. What? Uh, tattoo, yeah, yes. I just wanted you to know I was very saddened by that. He certainly was a fine rapper. Oh, that uh, that that child song brought uh, shivers to my body and, you know, made me cry. Tattoo recently died? Yeah. Who is Tattoo? I don't know what he's talking. You know what he's talking about? I love tattoos. You got stands up or what? I don't know. Fantasy <laughs> Island. All right. Anyway, so I think Dave's gonna have another heart attack. I know. I think he's about to pass out. 
<laughs> Dave, pull your pants back up uh, over there. Yeah. yeah. yeah look no, at him. I, I just want to let him know. You know just, Dave Knight, Letterman. I just want to let Mr. Knight know that, you know, people don't know my steez. You know, I'd be up uh, one, two, five with P. Diddley or P. Daddy or working the block like Magic Don Juan Iceberg uh, Slim's uh, for wheel, baby. Dave, go shave your head. Leave me alone. <laughs> Dave, do you yeah. understand? No, I just, I just want to make Mr. Knight aware that you know I've donated a considerable amount to, to the United Negro College Fund, <laughs> and uh, on behalf of your people, I voted for uh, David well, Dickens. Well, and, and I'm not even uh, the president you, of New York. Well, okay, what you want to do is this, like, it, yeah. like with me, all true enough for everybody is our people, but all the ghetto is my people. I think so David in, Letterman in here. Ghetto, yeah, in all right, fairness, no, though, but no David problem. Letterman is trying to, to bond it's with you. So go ahead, I'm, try and bond. I'm gonna try to bond. I'm gonna try to bond with him too. Yeah, in the ghetto, he's trying to. Say something. Go in ahead. The ghetto. I'm cutting him off at this point. Go ahead. In the ghetto. You got you got Mexicans. You got blacks. Right. Out here you got Puerto Ricans. Yeah. You got over. Right. Is he inappropriate? But the whole, but the whole thing about it is this: Any, if you want to do something from the ghetto for the ghetto, mm -hmm. go out there and personally give the money to the kids. Let the kids grow. Dave, you do you understand the, the difference? Let's don't, don't write a check. So let's United, go out United Negro College Go to the ghetto. It's not going to help anybody. you got to give a check to the people. No, I, go to the ghetto. Go to the ghetto. Yeah, go to the ghetto. <laughs> yeah. And I, right just, I just want to say that he, uh, you know, to Mr. Knight, he certainly has a lovely uh, shade of skin. Absolutely no ash at all. Uh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a compliment. Uh, I, I think that should be taken you know. as a compliment. Yeah, I'm going to take that. Yeah, right. Thank you very much. You really know how to talk ghettoese. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, you know, seems to know a lot about black. Yeah, you seem to know a lot about black people. Are you I'm kidding me? I, I can roll hard anywhere. You know, catch me at, at Cali, uh, you know, at Roscoe's with uh, Suj. Suj Knight. Can I do that? Sure. Excuse me, I'm sorry. You know what? What is... What is I think you're more like a nigger with Mr. P. That's my dog. That's my dog, Hey, so you and Max people up here talking about it, huh? So now all of a sudden you know what's going on. He's just as much as I kick the game to Robin. Hey, did he make you say, oh, when he was hitting that or what? You know, you're quite... You know, he is quite... Let me hear you talk to Suge Knight in a rap style. Maybe he's something here. I'll give you an example. All right, I'm gonna. This is to Robin. All right, Robin, you ready? Here yeah. we go. All right, what's up, busy? Uh, 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 Can I uh, holler at you? <laughs> Damn, baby, I'll hold it down for you. The block says you got the you got the good power. You. Oh wow! Look at yeah. this guy. You know what? Well, right with you know, hey, you know, some, I don't even understand. <laughs> Very honorable. Yeah. How can I get it? Yes, Dave. Yeah, I'd like to ask Mr. Knight a question. Go ahead. First of all, I, I think we should, you know, prank call Puffy and put the fear of Jesus in him. And uh, I'd like to ask him, you know, where are all the white women at? <laughs> I'll tell you where the white women are at, pal. They're, they're at uh, they're at Home Depot buying Windows treatments. That's Windows treatments. <laughs> all right. Listen. Uh... Um, what is it, Dave? Yeah, I just want to ask Mr. Knight a question. Because we're running out of time. Well, uh, you know, uh, first of all, you know, would Mr. Knight, I'd be honored if you, you know, you take the time to uh, you know, buck uh, Kai, my uh, white mother. You know, Dorothy. <laughs> Whatever that is. Sure. Well, hit her up. Would you do that? Yeah. <laughs> because Ooh. she's dating this guy. I can't. See, he knows how to speak this I'm whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're having the conversation. That's probably, that's probably <laughs> one of the things that to make things more interesting. Maybe if we had a problem one day, then I could be what? What I'll be your stepdaddy? There you go. There you go. <laughs> I just want you to know that I fully support the black man's right to suffrage. I good. Know. Very good. Well, there you, you go. go. <laughs> I, was, I was very angry at the way Ginger was treated on that Gilligan's Island reunion. <laughs> and, and I'm sure Mr. Black, Knight huh? shares my disdain about that. <laughs> well, I don't know that he cares. I think he's got his own problem. <laughs> Dave, have you learned anything from this? Yeah, I, I've learned, uh, you know, to fear uh, Mr. Knight more than the IRS. <laughs> uh, John, I want to ask him a question. Yeah, go ahead. Good. You know, you know. I, I, first of all, I just want to know that uh, in his honor, I'm uh, I'm I'm wearing my uh, my bring bring in your honor, sir. Bring bring. Yeah, that's a bring bring. Hey, Temporarily bring, lay bring, off bring. <laughs> I think Mr. Knight knows what I'm saying. <laughs> all right. Yeah, Dave. Well, let me just say something about Larry King because we've had the man on on the show many many times, but you know he always comes on. He always sounds like he's got his pants caught in his microphone, right? His suspenders. Mm -hmm. And and speaking of my show, I just like to announce uh, to your audience that if anyone has uh, diaper changing videos for Trader for Sale, please contact me on the Late Show. All right. Yeah. Diaper trading. <laughs> you are very diaper different. Diaper changing videos for Trader for Sale. Okay. Howard, yeah. Can I ask you something? Yeah. What, what do you worry about your your skinny neck? You look you look fine. <laughs> I mean, you don't look like the shoe bomber. You know that guy. He's tall. He's skinny. He's got a nose like two cans, Sam. You know, and you know he, he's been uh, you know he's been rejected by society. You know, sound like anybody we know. <laughs> Okay. All right. So anyway, uh, you know, 
Marco, you know just where to come in. Don't you? Uh, I don't right. know. Howard? Yeah, yes, Evil Dead. I just, I just want to ask you, now, now let me get this straight. You had uh, photos of yourself, uh, what, what was this at NBC? <laughs> I got to explain it to you. Well, you, you should use them as Christmas cards next year, maybe. <laughs> so anyway, I <laughs> thank you, people, Dave. Yeah. Uh, Dandy, you're on the air. What's up, Howard? It's Dandy from ICB. What's up with this Letterman guy? I think he thinks. Uh, mm, you better sure. say something. Go Jerry, ahead. you're a good excuse for that telezapper. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, Howard, I'm a big fan of the yeah, show. Right. I love you to death. I think you're the greatest. You got me for some hard times. But it's not that funny. It comes in the bad times and everything else. I thought he'd be a little upbeat on it. All right, his timing was a little off today. <laughs> Dave, you got to admit that. Yeah. Yeah. He has yeah. had better Train wreck, right, Dave? Yeah, exactly. Dave, by the way, you look horrible. Yeah, you, Dave. Oh, you know, <laughs> I mean, I, let's just say I don't look hot like Tom Cruise today. <laughs> yeah, you're aging horribly, oh, Dave. God, I know it. Dave Letterman, everybody. I'm starting to look like, uh, you know, Conrad Bain. <laughs> How about you? right. You're on the air. Yes, good morning. Uh, yeah, I always love listening to uh, Evil Dave when he's on there, but for some reason, he seems like, uh, you know, not as funny. And I was wondering, if next time Artie Lang goes on a five-day coke binge, maybe you could have me come in and tell a couple of jokes? Well, as a matter of fact, Evil Dave would be working better if he would just read all... He keeps trying to tie stuff in. Uh, Howard, I'm a great reader. Just read this stuff. In here. Read the, uh, it's the I'm line. an excellent reader. Maybe you can have me in there, but... There's a lot of good lines there, but I, I, I'll go. Let me go talk to I'm Evil Dave. I'm at New Dave. York Comedy Club, January 26th. I would... Let me tell you something. I'm going to talk to Evil Dave during the commercials. Yeah. I'm going to tell him what I think he needs to do, and I guarantee in the next hour he's going to be spectacular. <laughs> oh, okay, well, kick him in the ass. Yeah, I'm going to go kick him in the ass. I'm going to give him a comedy lecture, uh, and it's going to work, Dave. <laughs> and I'm going to go to BrianCannon.com if you want some joke. I'm sorry, what? I'm just waiting to talk about Oprah. I'm steamed about this Oprah thing. What do you mean? Well, you know, I just, I'm just upset. I, I think, uh, you know, we're trying to have her on the show, or, or trying to get on the show, and, you know, I, 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 how about her? I just, you know, I, you know, I hear that she slapped you with a cease and desist. Is that correct? I right, listen. Let me go. Let me, let me, uh, let me take you aside. You really do need to have that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's time. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm going to have the conversation. Hey, when I'm down. Hey, I can't get a sponsor. Yeah, Dave. Yeah, can I say something? This, this guy wants to cut off his feet, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been uh, tickling for most of my life, and it's something uh, so important to me that I just wanted to share it with the world. And, you know, the Internet was the perfect medium. Yahoo's world has, has generated a great deal of, of worldwide attention and has proven to me that, you know, tickling is, is a global interest. <laughs> you were into tickling? Yeah. Yeah. You know, the primary purpose of that Yaku's uh, world is to inspire others to you know, explore their fantasies. Don't keep your, your desires locked up inside because, you know, life is too short. Go out and, and explore. You may learn something about yourself that you never knew before. Wow. <clears throat> I didn't know Dave Letterman was into tickling. Yeah, well, you know, he talked about his feet. I don't know. And Dave Letterman meet um, uh, Paul Morgan, who's about to cut his feet off. How are you, sir? Hey, Dave. How are you? Now, let me get this straight now. You're going to cut your feet off? Yeah. You know, you have until uh, April 15th to do that. <laughs> Before taxes? Yeah, that, that's the time I'd cut my feet off. <laughs> yeah. Howard? Yes, Dave. Can I ask this uh, gentleman a question? Sure. Sir, when you when you cut your, uh, your, your, your toes off, are you going to uh, put them in a urine? In a urn. Uh, it's just going to be the feet themselves. It's uh, not going to be the toes. It'll be right gonna, at the ankle. You're not going to clear your the toes as a dependent, are you? No. <laughs> because, you know, if I had one wish, it would be a, a reading with uh, John Edwards because, you know, he talks to the dead. And I think it would be a, a you know a great goof to hear from all the uh, the hookers and children I've uh, killed and mutilated. You know, I I, I can just hear now me, screaming and writhing in pain. Now, man, that's funny, Dave. Yeah. Let me just finish this interview with this guy. <laughs> all right. One second. David Brenner, by the way, say hi to Dave Letterman. I know you're a friend of his. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going to. I'm surprised you didn't mention. I'm going to be on a show tonight. Yeah, you're coming on the show tonight. And I just want to ask you one of these questions. I sure. won't put it out in the interview, but sure. you know, is, is it just me or does anyone else think you uh, look like Barbara Streisand and drag? You're you're not the only one who who has said that. <laughs> now, why do you got it? You know, you know what it is. He's so different on this show. Yeah, you come on the show tonight. He'll be nice to you. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, yeah. yeah well, you know what? You know, I can't be real on other people's show. Howard shows. No, I don't mean you. I mean David. Letterman oh, is real. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's more real now than he is when, like, tonight he's going to be a little stiff, but I know that. Exactly. Yeah, he can get all stiff. I hear you're loose as a goose. Yeah, well, I am. <laughs> you know, I got nothing to lose, man. I'm at the point in life where I don't give a damn anymore, you know right. what I mean? You know, David, uh, of course, uh, when I had my heart problems, I went to a Jewish doctor, and, and these people are, are good in school, don't you agree? Oh, they're wonderful in school, and, and, and I'll tell you something, you, you go, you keep you having heart attacks, it helps us out. Yeah. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have a peephole in your son's room, by the way, do you? Oh, I, I have three 
three sons, uh, three so, people. So when you bring home hot chicks, uh, you know, <laughs> Dave can spy on them having sex. Well, you know, my days of hot chicks are over. See, Howard and I have reversed roles in life. That's there right. You know, you're no, he used to live vicariously through me, and now I live vicariously through him. David Brenner is married now. Uh, I'm married. I have three kids, man. It's over. It's a whole over. catastrophe. Oh, so you live in... <laughs> it's a catastrophe. <laughs> Hey, David? Yeah. Yeah, you know, uh, sometimes I fantasize uh, I'm in a hotel room with that Hussada bin Laden guy. He's you got me bogged and gagged, uh, you know, and I'm on my hands and knees on a bed, and I'm naked except that I'm wearing uh, sock garters and boxer shorts with a hole cut out in the back. You know, I love you as the real you, Dave. You know, yeah. usually you only talk this way during commercial oh, breaks. Yeah. <laughs> and and, and Wassam, Wassam was about to rape me, but then, uh, you know, President Bush uh, bursts into the room and says, Hold it right there, evil one. We need to lubricate him first. And then, you know, President Bush rips out a stick of butter. from. God, you know, they say that loss of oxygen from a heart attack affects people's brains. It obviously never happened to you, Dave. <laughs> All right. Uh, Dave Letterman, you should go. Maybe yeah. get a couple of tips oh, I, how to be funny absolutely. again. Yeah, Dave get the timing the back. the funniest man <laughs> around. What's that? I was going to say, David's about the funniest man around. He's, he's, he's great. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, and by the way, Dave, a question. Have you ever noticed that uh, man ass and pimento olives leave the same taste in your mouth? <laughs> yeah, I have noticed yeah. that, but I noticed that years ago. And when they leave your body, they <laughs> feel the same when they leave your body. He is go. wild on we this We won't show. talk about that on the show tonight. What yeah. a different personality on radio. It's a shame, in, you know, you, Dave started in radio in Indianapolis. Yeah. If he would have stayed, Howard. I know, Dave, you're so loose on the show. Yeah. yeah Funny. Uh, you really need to take on this persona. Even, even then, I was beating the crap out of the weather channel <laughs> yeah you were you were the weather man and you know you go back to wearing those sneakers man loosen up yeah you, know? you were great with you know don't be the Al Gore of television you know right loosen yeah. up man you know I, I'd be a homo for Brenner I really would oh, you would. Yeah. Look really? At you. <laughs> is that true I have no idea you want to say anything else to David Brenner you can have him on your show uh, we'll save the good stuff for tonight oh. yeah all the killer lines right yeah, killer yeah. lines all right Dave, are you still going to be here? Yeah. Oh, you are. Yeah, I was just going to say some one thing more about David Brenner. You know, he's he's a, he's a good friend. Uh, he's a buddy. I had him over the other night, and we were playing gay chicken. And uh, we played all night. And I'm not going to tell you, you know, who won. But considering we both like protein shakes, uh, so I guess, we, you know, there were two winners. <laughs> See, now you're rolling. Yeah, well, you know. It only took, <laughs> took you about four hours to warm up. I know. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> Howard. Yeah, Dave. Can I say something? Sure, Dave Letterman. You know, you know, I'm not a child molester. I, I, I can say that, you know, I'm more comfortable with children. You know that a 10-year-old boy has no uh, smell coming from his armpit? I, I can smell a 13-year-old from a mile and a half away. Wow, evil Dave. This yeah. is evil Dave, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like you better. People, I want to party with them. All right. Yeah. Anyway, uh, but you have a lot on your mind today. Oh, I sure do. <laughs> You know, you know, Robin, uh, tickling is one of the first things we encounter in life. I mean, you know, who hasn't had a baby or a small child and, and not had the urge to tickle, you know, to elicit <laughs> laughter, smiles, and joy? Wow, Dave. <laughs> yeah. You're really <laughs> into it goes, there. It goes deep with you. But you're really into That's tickling, aren't you? That's what you like to do with your girls? There you go, yeah. Uh -huh. Evil Dave. Yeah. By you know, the way, I got a joke for you, Howard. Sure. What, what's what's uh, brown and pleasant and found in most kids' uh, under?